Hello friends. So in this video, we will see the debugging in shell script thing. Okay. So let's start it now. Let's start all the commands and uh, let's let, let's start in this video. We will be doing some uh, practicals and theory part two. Okay. So don't miss this video. Watch it till end and let's start. Let's begin now. First thing is exit codes. So what are exit codes? Exit codes are like uh, programs in unix like operating system they return an exit code whenever they are executed and after their completion so by convention by older times we are taking an exit code of zero and it indicates success if, if a program is successfully executed then exit code is zero there in unix like operating system but if uh, there is any non-zero value so it indicates that your program or your uh, script has an error okay it indicates an error any non-zero value in exit code code second is error messages so providing informative error messages helps in troubleshooting and understanding the cause of failures that means if you are running a script and if an error occurs so you can print that error for your user or for uh, the viewer who, who else is viewing your uh, script so you can print an error message so that the troubleshooting and understanding cause of failure uh, could be easy for anyone okay so you can custom error messages using echo command too we will see that in practical next is logging logging is very useful for capturing information during your script execution whenever uh, like whenever you are doing anything whenever you are uh, writing anything whenever you are executing your script so including errors and debugging details all of those things will be just redirected to another file uh, in a log file suppose my log dot s whatever uh, name of the log file you give so all the things all the commands of a file will be all the execution of a file like executed thing not commands like only executed thing will be redirected output of the uh, your scripts will be redirected to a log file okay and you can do so using this double operator double angular operator or you can do that using logger command okay right next is debugging flags so what is debugging flags you can enable debugging flags in your shell script to provide more detailed information during execution whenever you are uh, executing a command so you can use minus x option with shebang line or you can set the set minus x command and that will print each command before executing it if you are executing a command so this minus at x set minus x or uh, shebang minus x will execute any command whenever you uh, that will print any command that you execute while running the program testing and validation so it is very essential to test your shell script thoroughly because you should identify and fix errors whenever you are working in a script file whenever you are working in shell okay and there are some automatic test testing frameworks too like bash unit or sh unit too and they can help you to write test cases for your scripts like if you want to write some test cases for your script you can use bash unit and sh unit too and they will help to write test cases and to by test cases by looking at test cases you can uh, run your program in various different ways uh, and you can identify that in which way your script shell script file will generate error and then you can fix it okay so testing and validation is a very important process and next is debugging tools so in debugging tools shell scripting does not have any of the built-in debugging tools but yeah we can use external tools like bash db or shell check for debugging and static analysis of our script okay so bash db or shell check you can use for debugging and static analysis because shell scripting does not have any built in debugging tools so let's move on, move on to practical part let's let's see some basic commands of it let's do some hands on now so i have created some things some some files for you and we will be executing it only okay next is let's let's start it now okay so let's go 
I'm logging into it. Let's see the commands now. So first of all, we will do some error checking. Uh, and before that, we will be writing a command uh, looking for exit code, OK? So let's open our terminal. I have opened it now. Let me zoom it for you. Okay. Now the first thing is I have created some files for you, and the first of the file is nano file dot file check dot sh, right? File check dot sh. So in file check dot sh, I have written some commands, some if condition to check whether a file exists or not, and it will exist exit with an appropriate exit code, right? So file is having this command if and we are using negative concept here that if file does not exist, if file my file dot txt file named my file dot txt does not exist then echo file not found and if it exists it will just exit with without an, any message without printing any message so let's let's just execute this file now dot slash file check dot sh okay so yep it it ex exited without printing any of the output that means file exists in my system i'll just delete that file my file dot txt i just deleted that file and now if i'll execute i'll get a message that file not found okay so i got this error message next is uh error messages only okay let's let's go for that so nano and i am using nano dir Check. I have created another file. Check dot sh. Okay. So this will check whether a directory exists in my file or not. If a directory doesn't exist, it will print an error message for me. Directory not found. And yep, it will exit then. So let's see this too. Dot slash. Dir underscore check okay so yeah directory not found because directory doesn't exist if i make a directory mk using mkdir then it will just uh, exit without printing any of the messages now next is logging so logging let's see that also so log underscore red another file i have created for you log red dot sh and in this if you write here is a, a script named dot slash my script dot sh okay that that is a file i've created my script dot sh and here if you write anything in this file and every output of this file will be redirected to script dot log because i have used this this operator here okay i have used this operator here and this will just redirect all the commands all the uh, output things of this file into script dot log file okay you don't need to create this script dot log file it will be ultimately created by itself but yeah you must create this my script dot sh file before execution okay so now let's see what i have written in my nano my script dot sh file i have created that my script dot sh file let's check what is in that so i have printed echo hello okay here echo hello i am printing right so this is a message and i want that this message should be printed in my log file okay so yep i'll now execute this log red so dot slash log red dot sh as i have given the permission to this file it will just execute itself okay now what 
now i had created that my script dot sh let's see dot slash my script dot sh okay so i got hello and i got this command hello now this hello must be printed in my log file so let us check whether log file is created or not and this message is printed in it in in it or not so yep script dot log and now you will see that this message is already printed into that file i'm just opening this file this file is opened up here and you can see this hello is this hello output is here and it is executed here right so this is what i wanted to show you that you can redirect any of the things of your file into another log file other is let's see the last thing which is flag.sh flagging so i have created a file flag.sh nano flag.sh see whenever you write a command and whenever you add minus x with shebang or uh, you write this command set minus x so as i told you your command before execution will be printed at your terminal so that you could get a detailed information about your commands so set plus x i have used that for debugging so yeah that will be set plus x will be printed before execution right so let's check let's check that i want dot slash flag dot sh so yep i'll just execute it because i have given all the permissions using chmod space 777 space flag dot sh okay and i have allowed all the permissions so yep plus plus set plus x this this set plus x so this command is printed before execution right so this was all about uh, debugging and i hope you like this video i hope this video will help you so thank you and let's meet in our next video thank you